Hello, this is Waterlily716, or Sarah, um, and this video is just going to be how to fix bobby pins that are broken, um, or twisted, and this happens a lot to me because I have really thick hair, and I sort of give them too big of a job to do. So all you're going to need are your messed up bobby pins and a pair of wire pliers. So let's get started. Okay, so how you, what you're going to do is you're going to take your messed up useless bobby pin and your wire pliers um, and you can also use an eyelash curler like this for this. Um, I'm just going to show you with these pliers and what you want to do is make sure that the top of the bobby pin is directly over the bob bottom of the bobby pin. So grab onto the top of the bobby pin and pull it the other way. You also have to grab onto the bottom and just pull. And that should get your bobby pin squarely on top of the bottom. Now, also, older bobby pins will have a bit of space in between the bottom and the top. For example, here's one that has a lot of space. And what you want to do is take your pliers and put them on the, like, down parts of the rivets. Just put them there and press really hard. Um, and you're not going to see an effect right away, but make sure to hold the two sides of the bobby pin together and just press really hard repeatedly. If you get that clicking noise and the top slides away from the bottom, it means that it's not squarely on top. So you just want to press really hard and keep doing this. Okay, and then let's say you have a bobby pin like this that just has a lot of space. Take your pliers and you're going to grab the top and bend it down over the other way. You want to bend it pretty far until it looks like this. And then you can continue to squish down the rest using lots of pressure. You just want to grab the top part and bend it in the direction that it needs to go, basically. And always make sure that the top has, top is like so, it's nice and far up so that you can get here and there. Yeah, this is about as good as I can get my body pin, which doesn't look as perfect as this one, but it's still pretty good and it works a lot better than the broken one did. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial and I hope it saves you some money so you don't have to go back and buy that huge pack of body pins. I still like lose half of every pack of body pins I buy, but this is really helpful to keep those last ones going on, um, living longer. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!